We're going to make some uh, delicious country style pork ribs tonight on the open fire and I have gone down to the water source and cut some vine maple and I have made two fork ends one long one to put these on and here we go Maybe I'll start from the other end. That's a big fat. Oh, that's a bone there. Cool, cool, cool. That's usually these are bones. Oh my goodness, there's bones in all of them. Country style ribs with bones. Okay. Wow. Just like that. It's gonna be just fine. We'll get the next one on. And we'll just weave it on there. It's going to be delicious, or it won't. This one will go just like that, which is fine. Third one. Okay. Oh my gosh, these are like little uh, miniature pork steaks, actually. Okay, well, let's see what I can do with this one. Right now, uh, well, at least at the store we went to, it's they didn't have the the beef country style. So I'm gonna move this down, move this down, move this one down. It's okay that they're touching. Uh, they're like not in first grade, or they're not brother and sister, or they go, "Mommy's touching me." And let's just see if I can't stab this one without getting a big artery in me. Cut myself three times today, guys. <laughs> okay, here we go. This has got to get, there we go. We got it. I'll bring this down a little bit more. There we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and season these. And then I'm gonna, and then I'm going to wrap them with bacon. So let's just go ahead and start with the salt. Alrighty. Now the delicious pepper. Yep. Coarse ground black pepper. Coarse ground black pepper. Get it in there good. Okay. Now I've also made these little toothpicky looking things with which I cut myself. Anyway, let's get the <laughs> Let's get to wrapping this. Should be good, guys. It should be good. Guys and gals. Okay. Man, those are heavy. Okay. Okay, we're going to taking this over right now and putting this on my little contraption I made. Ooh. Fun things that everybody can do. That should be the perfect bed of coals. What I did was I, I shaved this to get the bark off, which is vine maple. Then I I took a lava rock and scraped it a little bit to help get any kind of burrs. Then I ran it through a good part of the flame we have in the fire, just so none of that gets in the meat. Now we just have to be patient and let this cook. We're gonna do a uh, we're inside the trailer. We're gonna have some delicious beans. Uh, I could eat beans in every meal, truly. And we're going to do on the fire. A, a nice sweet potato and uh, she's got some gold potatoes 
in aluminum foil with some water in it that we're going to partially cook so that we can have hash browns tomorrow. Stay tuned, we're going to have fun, and uh, this will be a, a delicious meal. So. done is I picked it up and turned it around and look at it we just want to let this just cook and cook oh and look at the bones look at the bones this is going to be an incredible meal uh, this will be good dog bo dog bones we'll leave some for the coyotes and the wolves uh, and look what I did look what I did and you see this one peace <laughs> what happened was, now, now I had one lower than this even, but I was uh, making these, uh, these little guys here. <laughs> and I put my finger up at the top, and uh, you know what? She told me, go ahead and do it. And I pulled that knife up, and what I do? I cut a big old piece off my finger. This is going to be fun, though. We met some great kids. They came up into the camp, and uh, we're actually going to have them uh, for dinner tonight. Uh, this young man plays the guitar. He's got a wonderful young lady that's his fiance, and she's uh, crocheting or knitting, one or the other. And I think that's amazing because the girls in the modern day, they just don't do that. So. That's nice. That's nice.